Hey guys, Dave with Moneyology here. Hope everyone is having a great evening. Today is November 21st, 2019, and this is the Cannabis Sector Review. I'm covering this sector today because looking through the charts of uh, the Cannabis ETF and going through 50 plus names, I think there is significant opportunity right now. You'll find as we go through the, these individual names from a weekly perspective, uh, there, uh, there have been a number of multi-week positive divergences, and then this week something happened that the sector uh, has broken out, and you'll see names have gone up 50 to 100%, many of them. And look, at the end of the day, I'm not doing the due diligence on these companies. That's that's something that is beyond the scope of these videos, but there are a lot of opportunities after significant downtrends. So if you can capture some of the best companies now uh, getting out of their downtrend, you're going to be in good shape. So let's take a look. And we're going to go through this uh, just for uh, for time constraints a little bit faster. But there are 50 companies, 50 plus companies we're going to look at. And I'm going to just try, try to uh, kind of go through the, the, the major highlights. So first, Acreage Holdings. Uh, this one has broken out of a downtrend that it's been in since July. And uh, beautiful up candle 60% so far this week has broken above this 31 level of RSI, now going for 38 uh, RSI level. And with positive divergence, this one looks like it, it's got uh, a lot of legs to go. And I uh, really like the look of this uh, downtrend breakout. Elia Fia Health, uh, this is another one that's breaking out of a downtrend or very close to it. So even as we've been creating just consistently lower highs, uh, lower lows, rather notice momentum hasn't really been uh, making new lows. So that's a very positive sign. So if this can break out to the upside, I think this is going to make a substantial run uh, to, to, I would say, perhaps uh, move towards that 1.6 level at a minimum. Uh, our favorite name in terms of a larger cap is the Amerisaurus Virgin. And, and this is because it's got a lot of, it's a very diversified company and it's got a lot of exposure to cannabis. It's got exposure to beer and other names. Uh, and it's been consolidating, doing uh, very little over the last couple of years, but you've got this rounded bottom and a very clear neckline breakout. So above 90, this is a, a strong buy. Uh, for an initial move toward about 102, possibly as high as 112 in a renewed uptrend. But bottom line is I, I like the construction of this momentum. We are firmly above the 50 RSI level in an uptrend. From a momentum standpoint, if we break 61 over here, I think you're going to see substantial moves to the upside. Afria, uh, another one, downtrend, very well-defined downtrend from a momentum standpoint is even better than uh, from a price standpoint. It looks like it's just ready to to rip any day now. If it breaks that six level, I think that's, this is going to head towards that 10.5 level, and you see some other uh, targets here as well. Aurora Cannabis. Uh, so some names have been just completely butchered. This is uh, one of them. But again, even though the price has no clear trend line uh, to, to break from, momentum does, and it's very close to breaking out. So the upside, I think a breakout of momentum here, send shares uh, rocketing towards that 520 area, and then we'll have to reassess at that point. But the mom, uh, the volume here is, is substantial. The last time we really had such a volume, was around here when we rallied from about five to ten in the, in the matter of a couple of weeks. Oxley Cannabis, uh, this is another one that was building positive divergence. Right, we had a double bottom in price. Momentum did not confirm the the lows in in price, and looks like this one might want to uh, make a run towards that one uh, one buck area. Body and mind, not nah, this doesn't look uh, good at all. Uh, buds weed. Uh, this one also, you've got a very well-defined price channel that has been really nasty since 2018 from 1520 to low of, I would say, what, uh, 31? I mean, that's that's pretty pretty substantial uh, drop. But uh, despite the drop over the last couple of weeks, notice we've been creating positive divergence. So a breakout does not at all surprise me, and I, I expect to move towards that 88 cent level before uh, in, encountering any substantial uh, pullbacks. CB2 Insights, this one has also been building a very nice uh, positive uh, momentum here over the last couple of months. And you see now we're, we're so far, this is a Thursday as a Thursday evening above the 38 level, close above that level, and that's a very positive weekly close.
All right, canopy growth. This is a well-defined uh, bottom. So 14 area uh, is, is a very good risk reward parameter. So you know the stop loss is below 14. If this breaks above this, uh, this downtrend here, around that 22 area, that this can make a nice run towards 25 and then much higher thereafter. But I like that momentum has broken the downtrend here and, and it's, and it's uh, setting up for move to the upside. Kronos Group, another one with an extremely well-defined downtrend with multiple points of momentum here. And it looks like it uh, might just be ready to go. I, I, this is probably one of the best names in the watch, in, on this watch list. So find, having found support at that six level, which is kind of where it took off last time around here, uh, is, is a very positive sign. The fact that we had positive divergence here, making new lows, but price momentum did not confirm. I think this is an uh, indication that the, the breakout is coming relatively soon. Cureleaf Holdings, uh, kind of noisy chart, but uh, but it's it's got some pretty nice momentum. If it can break above that 50 level, which is this area where, where the last time we broke down right around here, then that would be a very positive sign. CV Sciences, uh, kind of a bullish wedge that I'm seeing, and you've got a well-defined downtrend. If this can break to the upside, you're going to see a nice rip uh, breakout around that 150 area to, to move toward that 2.25 at a minimum. Charlotte's Web Holdings. So this one is a very well-defined downtrend, but momentum has just broken out to the upside above the 38 level. Very positive sign uh, there. C21 Investments, another one that has broken out of the downtrend. And while it's faced some, a little bit resistance here at the 200 or 26 week moving average, I think the momentum being uh, strong here is a good indication that even if there is a consolidation, it's going to resolve its way to the upside. Supreme Cannabis Holding Co Cannabis Company. Meh, this one's rallied pretty uh, pretty nicely this week. But uh, again, very well-defined downtrend. If this breaks, then this is uh, definitely one that, uh, not this particular name, but the, the sector is one you want to keep on your radar. Friday night, TGIF. Yeah, that'll be nice tomorrow. Uh, kind of this downtrend here has been broken and up so far about 18% this week. If this breaks that 38 level, which is right here where we broke down last time around, that will be a very, very positive uh, and crucial sign. General Cannabis Corp, uh, another well-defined downtrend that is on the verge of breaking. I like these well-defined downtrends because the, stock, the risk reward is very clearly defined. Uh, you see that trend line here of momentum has been broken to the upside. So I, to me, this is only a matter of time till this makes a move towards that 123, breaks above that, and then you see the various price targets thereafter. Green Thumb Industries, uh, this one's uh, very, very close to breaking above the 50 RSI level, which is extremely positive. I think uh, it's, it's positive momentum, and it's above the 26 and 13 week EMAs, and uh, this is setting up for nice, nice price action in the future. Harvest Health and Recreation. Uh, this one's consolidating right now around that four four buck level. Don't really see anything that excites me on this one. Hexocorp. Uh, this one again, a really really nice rally after lows around two dollars, which is kind of the neckline here. So perhaps a back test of the neckline. Uh, but bottom line is, even as we were making new lows, we were not making new lows in, in momentum. So that's again a consistent theme is if if you see a positive divergence, more often than not. The stock is going to break out to the upside, either via momentum or contrarian. Ianthus Capital Holdings. And so the, here's another downtrend. But again, despite the double effective bot, double bottom, momentum did not break lower. So that's a positive di divergence that we want to see if the, if the uh, stock, the shares are going to uh, rebound. James E. Wagner Cultivation. Yeah, not, not too much to see there. Kiran Life Sciences. Also, kind of getting set to break uh, above that downtrend is, is really all I'm seeing in that one. Kushko Holdings. Uh, so here's a very, very well-defined uh, double bottom with positive divergence. Look at where momentum was versus where it is today when price kind of re re reached us that 125 level. So this breaks back above that 175, 180. This is going to make a stro very strong run towards that 350 area. Medifarm Labs, uh, nice bounce so far. And uh, 
about where you would expect it to. There's been a support here uh, and resistance here at these levels. Um, there's a slight positive divergence here versus here. So I, I think that this is a nice, interesting risk reward just under 375 as a buy and um, and with the stop loss just under that level uh, to, to the downside protection. Sorry, guys, Yanni here. It's uh, pretty late and getting tired, but nonetheless, I got to get through this. Liberty Health Sciences, another downtrend, well-defined uh, round the bottom here. It looks like it wants to break to the upside very, very soon. Momentum has already broken out. Uh, one of the best looking charts in, in this particular sector at this juncture. National Access Cannabis Corp. Um, another one that kind of recovered after being very over, very overbought. Uh, it's perking, peaking its way above that 31 level. So perhaps uh, some additional upside here uh, for Meta. May Jardin Group, uh, not much to see here. MedMen, so this is interesting. Uh, did not expect this after have, not having watched MedMen for a while here, but since August of 2018, from a high of 9.88 to a low of 83 cents, this company is probably going bankrupt, guys. Uh, that's that's what the chart is suggesting. Namaste Technologies, uh, so nice nice double bottom. Well, not so much double bottom, lower lows, but with pop. Positive price momentum. That's what we want to see. 48 North Cannabis Corp. Uh, breakdown uh, earlier this week, but with positive divergence. Uh, and now we're, we've got found some support uh, here at the 31 level. And so this one, if this can break and close the week above 45, this would uh, stir the pot for some, some new gains. Organigram Holdings. This is a nice looking chart. It's it's kind of been in this consolidation mode over the better part of two to three years. Uh, it's made new lows here, but price is not confirmed. It's kept at 61 level. So I think that this can make a really nice move to the upside should the trend line break around that four 450 area. Counter Royalty Corp, uh, well-defined downtrend, but more importantly is that momentum trend line looks like it's ready to burst to the upside. Next Leaf Solutions, uh, well, it's it's had the move about 19% so far. Uh, it's just hard to see where this is a better opportunity than some of the other names that we've covered. Planet 13 Holdings um, has broken out of its downtrend, so a very good sign that this is going to make a run towards that 270 area. Seoul Global Investments Corp also has bounced, but nah, I don't really see any reason to own this uh, without having uh, real due diligence. Uh, Terratech Corp. This one is also in extremely bearish territory below that 31 level. That's where the biggest declines do occur. And sure enough, that's what we've had so far. A couple more charts here. The Green Organic Dutchman Holdings, uh, up about 67% so far this week. Very, very nice move from the bottom. And I and I was expected to, to test the lows of 220 area before hitting some significant resistance. Tilt Holdings is is a breakout here, uh, both in PPO as well as in price and momentum here. It's peaking its way above that 38 level. So really like this name. If this can break above 65, this is going to go up pretty substantially. Tilray, sorry about the delay, guys. Tilray is a good-looking chart right now. Uh, it's it's been bottoming here for quite some time since August. Double bottom, positive divergence, and looks like it's just one catalyst away from really taking off to the upside. Can't trust holdings. Uh, yep, I, I see the double bottom here, and I see the positive divergence uh, with without making new lows. But bottom line is. Um, that this could be a, a good looking chart with a stop loss right below the one dollar level. I think this is a, a good risk reward entry point. True Leaf Cannabis Corp. Uh, so this is a beautiful chart. Look at the look at the round of bottom neckline breakout above fifteen. This is headed towards that twenty one and a half. So a lot of upside here. Uh, perhaps it can correct a little bit here and then take off. But bottom line is, so long as this stays above the thirteen, crossing the twenty six around thirteen seventy, I think this is a great risk reward entry for much higher prices. Balance Grow 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 Works Corp. Um, ran a bottom bullish flag, 
cut in a cup and handle here and uh, momentum is already broken out. So I expect price to soon follow or above 380 with an initial price target around $5. V Viario Health International uh, consolidating here, but uh, it's starting to perk up a little bit. So uh, something to keep an eye on. Uh, Canopy Growth Corp. So this is a beautiful defined downtrend, finding support 1750, which is basically the neckline that it broke out of to to really uh, to really run here. And uh, despite new lows, it did not make new lows in price, and that's what uh, I'm seeing right now, and why I'm excited uh, for names like this one. Weed MD. So has broken out. Uh, up about 15% so far this week has broken above this downtrend or very close to it. So I would like to see some consolidation and then uh, boom, take off to the upside. Zone properties, as opposed to stone properties, uh, has created positive divergence uh, quite for quite some time. And now, uh, now it looks like it's at the end of the road in terms of making a decision. So uh, if this breaks to the upside, I expect a sharp move towards 50 uh, relatively soon. So that's it, guys. Let me know if I have covered all the stocks that you would like me to cover in the marijuana cannabis sector. Uh, some pretty interesting opportunities. And, um, well, best of luck and hopefully go with the gut uh, and hopefully make some money. Take care.